Good day. Hi, Dr. Donald Roberts. How are you today? I'm fine, Valder. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. I'm broadcasting on the global platform. I've got great questions from Facebook for you. So thanks for joining us once again. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm excited because you're considered the the top uh, expert parent uh, tip giver. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> I know, we get these titles and you go like, I don't know where it came from. Yeah. But you but you are, you're, you're very renowned in your field, and you work with <laughs> Baby Genius, one of the favorite products, I think, for babies on this planet. Uh-huh, yep, been doing that for a couple of years. <clears throat> okay, what can parents learn from you uh, through working with Baby Genius? Well, I think... Probably the, the thing that new parents should probably keep in mind most of all is, uh, is that what they do is what their child is going to do. Um, uh, every, every child develops as a function of what the child brings to a situation and what the situation brings to the child. Uh, so that, that when a baby smiles at a parent and a parent smiles back, you have a kind of interaction going, the beginning of the communication. So I think the, the number one tip that I give parents uh, is interact, keep interacting, talk to your baby, and don't stop talking. And in fact, by the, time the, by the time the child is 18, you'll be talking about different topics. But the point is to, to keep interacting, keep getting responses from, from your uh, infant and your toddler, and, and you're teaching him not only language, but you're teaching him about, about how people interact. You're teaching that... Uh, that he or she can elicit a response from another human being. It's, it's continual interaction that's most important. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you this question. This is a Facebook question for you. Mm-hmm. How come babies are smarter than they previously were? Well, I don't know that Barbies, babies are smarter than they previously were. It may be that parents are a little more, a little smarter and beginning to realize. Uh, uh, you know, a, a, a baby comes into this world ready to start processing information. <clears throat> That's the way it's always been. And, and, but, but, but what a baby comes up with is a function not only of what she brings to that situation, but the information that's available for her to work on. If she has things to play with, to touch, to look at, to explore, then that's, that's pretty much going to... to um, how do I say this? Is it is it's gonna guide her smartness, and I put that in quotes. Um, as as long as as parents are paying more and more attention to babies and interacting with them, they'll tend to get a little bit smarter. All right then. Okay, I've got another smart question for you. It says my my one year old can operate certain things on my cell phone. How come? <laughs> well, I'm not sure she's operating. I think <clears throat> she or he is probably punching buttons and possibly has learned which button to push to get one particular kind of reaction. The fact is that you'll see, if you, if you for example, were to look at the Baby Genius products, you'll see that we have them um, marked for this is really appropriate for a 12 to 18 month old, or this is appropriate for an 18 to 24 month old. But those are just general guidelines. And so while we might say, Oh, children will generally start being able to push buttons and get certain reactions sometime between 12 and 18 months. Some children will do it at nine months, and some children won't do it until they're 24 months. There's, there's a big range, and every baby is a little bit different in how he or she progresses through all of the cognitive and socio-emotional stages. Um, but... You know, the, the, the key here is, do they have the opportunity? Do they get to practice? Do they get to explore fairly freely? All right, then. And you're going to help us with that by, you have some giveaways to help parents, right? I think so, yes. Uh, you can find them. Yeah. Well, um, I'm not sure exactly what we're offering today, but you can check all of this out at www.babygenius.com and find out what we have. And you'll also on there find some more information about how to interact with your child. I think they would love that. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Roberts. You gave some really good answers to parents, and I hope they're excited as I am about the Baby Genius products because they really work. I have two violin prodigies, and we had little baby geniuses, and I get I attribute some of that to that. Good. I'm glad to hear that. It's nice to hear those kinds of comments. 
Thank you so very much for being my guest today and talking to our parents on the Valder BB Show. I appreciate that. Thank you, Valder.